like a Cinnabon? Let's do this, Mark Rover. <laughs> Aw, this kid is really cute and sweet. Aw, Mark Rover thinks he's doing something amazing for his son. Sorry, Mark. Was my son. The reason I'm so protective of him is because he has special needs. He's on the autistic spectrum, and this is the internet. This child is out of control. She is screaming out for help. We, as caregivers, have to do something about this to rescue her before it is too late and she is lost. Forever. If you tell my son's friend any date from any year, okay. he will tell you the day of the week it lands on. I'm gonna randomly generate a date. June 2nd, 2004. What day is that on? Wednesday. <laughs> His parents and teachers have no idea how he has the ability to do this, and he doesn't know how to communicate that to us either. I need some help to You need some help? Okay, let's go make play out. Holy crap, you know it looks kind of like this kid is sitting here doing tricks for you, for treats. Like, I am not your show pony. I am not your good little puppy. I am not your kitten that you wave on the freaking TikTok. That is what a BA is. And since people tend to be extremely reward motivated, you know it actually works. Shocker. I first heard about this campaign from a YouTuber called Jesse Gender. Autistic advocate and all around geek extraordinaire. And when I heard her describe Mark Rober in a recent video. Mark Rober is a former NASA engineer and currently huge YouTuber with over 18 million subscribers. And on his channel, he talks about science and gadgets and fun stuff like that. I actually thought, is this person going to be autistic? No, wait, it's his kid. <sighs> From a conversation with Larry Wall, the creator of Pearl on a cruise ship. Just before I arrived back in Vancouver, I asked Larry if I could do a follow-up interview with him in Silicon Valley. That's fine, he said, but I should tell you that my wife and I have an autistic daughter. I took note of this remark, but didn't think much of it. Autism is genetic after all, Mark Rober. Sit on that for about five seconds. Okay. His remarkable ability I mentioned earlier, and it has to do with how he spends his free time at home by himself with others. His superpower is making other people happy. His superpower is making people happy. These people might not reach the traditional criteria of success by getting an education and contributing to the GDP like the rest of the world. Many autistic people can, but often they don't want to, or we've been thrown out of society by messages like this. So a lot of us, even though we have the education, even though we have the skill, just fall. Just fall out. Definition, they're not successful. People with special needs might not fit the traditional criteria of success by benefiting GDP or getting a PhD to cure a disease, but they have such a net positive effect on the people that get to interact with them. They personify traits like perseverance. So the idea that your son will not be, will not meet the Western criteria of success and that his success is making the world a better place by reminding neurotypical people that simply slow down and appreciate life more. People with special needs ground the rest of us and demonstrate the simple joys life can offer. With our hectic schedules and task lists, they remind us that things don't have to be that complicated. They make the world a better place and we're lucky to have them. We are not here to teach you a lesson. Just let us exist. Okay, so what is next for autism? What is this amazing charity that it's 
next for autism because we did all this now what's next what did you do beforehand like the charity called next for autism who specialize in supporting folks on the autism spectrum as they transition into becoming adults there are all these amazing programs for children and then to get them to a point where they can participate in society can look normal can learn your skills and then what do we do with them? We're gonna saddle them with low skill jobs. Would you like a Cinnabon? These jobs may be great for some people, and hell, there are plenty of low skill jobs that I would actually be perfectly fine with. I will fold and make foldable boxes for hours. I will sit in front of a computer and scan things for hours. I'll do data entry all day and night. Fold envelopes? Okay. There are lots of medial tasks that autistic people enjoy and do well. And there might actually be autistic people, autistic adults that want to paint houses and work at grocery stores and everything else. How about actually helping autistic people do the jobs they want to do and love? traits like perseverance, such as with Jason here, who has autism and was the dutiful sports equipment manager for four years, so the coach put him in for the last four minutes of the game his senior year. He sank not one, not two, but six three-pointers, including one right at the final buzzer, for a performance his supportive classmates will remember for the rest of their lives. I mean, the idea of this kid going into the game is actually kind of horrifying. They were either so far ahead in this game that it would not have mattered the last four minutes. Or that they were so far behind that there was no way they were going to catch up and they threw in the towel. I am not your show pony for brownie points. I mean, this could have gone so fucking poorly. They could have gone to Asen. They could have spoken to a university. But no, they chose Autism Speaks. If we want Autism Speaks to change, maybe we have to do it from the inside. Folks you might have heard of, such as Mr. Beast, the D'Amelio sisters, Jack Septicai. I have a friend named Jack that will be joining us too. Jack Black, Conan O'Brien, Stephen Colbert, Adam Sandler, Chris Rock. Heard of them. Not to mention John Stewart, John Oliver, Miranda Singh, Sarah Silverman, Mark Hamill, Andy Samberg, I Justine, Maya Rudolph, Terry Crews, Paul Rudd, and Zach freaking Galifianakis. <laughs> We'll also be joined by these folks as well. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. We'll, we'll be, be there. there. I'll be there. Well, I'll be there too. I'll be there. Hey, Vsauce, I'll be there. I'll be there. I know you already said my name, but I'll be there. Uh, these celebrities are all really nice. Who are all these celebrities after all? I don't see any autistic names here. Did you ask any autistic people if they'd be willing to work with you? Surely this is a worthy enough cause that autistic people would want to work for you. I thought we were getting somewhere. It feels like autism acceptance movement had met its peak at around 2016, right around the time Neurotribes was published. And then it kind of just fell off the map, honestly. Maybe it's because we shoved the concept of autism acceptance in the public space so much that they took it ran with it and made it their own thing. Side note, I also found out recently that Mark Rober is a practicing Mormon. So this is just another reason to have a problem with this campaign. Mormonism kind of has a tendency to infantilize people with mental and physical disabilities. They make it sound like it's a nice thing. They make it sound like they're saying a good thing because it is believed that people with these characteristics, with these disabilities, get a green light into heaven no matter what. Which sounds good on the surface, but really what it implies is that we are not responsible for our own actions. We can do no wrong, and we need to be looked after rather than being seen as fully human with our own abilities, including the ability to sin. What's next for autism? It ain't next for me. For us. And these ridiculous slogans are just so easy to turn over on their heads. Autism Speaks doesn't speak for me. We don't want to fit in your bubble. 
we've tried playing your game. You see, when we do actually succeed, it kind of breaks down your superiority complex. You've got to grab it back. So when we call for our acceptance on our terms, speaking out, saying this is how we want to be represented. This is how our story should be told. We don't want you to tell our stories. Your superiority complex starts to kick in and your view of society starts to break down. You know, I think Sia set Austin's acceptance back about 15 years. Thanks, I hate it. I am not your inspiration porn.